So today, Bootsy and I are going to be talking about the Sega Genesis Classic Game Console. It is a plug-and-play that was released this year. There was one that was released a few years back, but this is the newer version of it. So let's discuss what this is all about. So this is a plug-and-play released by Ad Games. Uh, it came out a couple of years ago, but uh, it's just coming out, uh, I presume, to combat the, uh, the NES Classic. Yeah. which is hot right now. And the, the first noticeable difference is the, uh, the AV connection compared to the HDMI that the NES Classic has. Yeah, so at this point in 2016, going you know, back to composite cables like this, um, you know, this is a cheaper console. This was, what, 30, 30 or $40? Dollars? Yeah, it, it, if you get it online, it's about 50 or so. But okay. I got it at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, Ashley. For, okay. And it was, labeled, it was uh, $40, but... I got it on Black Friday for $30, so basically I paid $30 for this thing last week. So for the price, I, I guess it's okay, but I mean, I feel like at this point in time, most people have televisions with HDMI. I, right. I would think that they, if they're trying, especially if they're trying to compete with the NES Classic, they probably should have, um, it should have AV and an HDMI port. I think that's the, the biggest thing about this that's not not good, and that's why it's having a hard time competing, I think, with well, the NES Classic. Well, the, the thing is that uh, if it was HDMI, the price would be a lot higher. Sure. You know, so it, it's a, there's a give and a take with that. Right. Dealing with uh, AV as opposed to HDMI, uh, you're best suited to play on a CRTV uh, compared to a, an HDTV. There's going to be input lag, and and uh, the graphics, uh, most noticeably, will, will be a little fuzzy and... So this comes with uh, two wireless controllers. Uh, they're battery powered and uh, they do work. Uh, one thing that's very annoying is that the, the back latch has a, um, a screw that keeps it in and it's a very tiny screw so you need one of those really tiny uh, Phillips head screwdrivers. Yeah, if you don't have the right kind of screwdriver, you're not gonna be able to get this open and actually we didn't at first and that was kind of annoying. Yeah, and another thing to, to mention is this is one of, uh, what, what would you say, about 10,000 different uh, designs of a, uh, of a Sega, Sega Genesis, Genesis controller. controller? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is nice that it is the six button uh, version of the Genesis controller because I know most people tend to uh, prefer that. There are so many different versions, as you, as you know, Bootsy was saying, of Sega Genesis controllers, and I know both of us are pretty particular ab about yeah, that. Yeah. Um, this controller isn't too bad. It's not as good as some of the better Genesis controllers, but it's it's not bad for what it is. Yeah. And when you do have uh, this lined up right with the console, it does work pretty decently. Yeah. Again, it's a, a convenience that it comes with it. They aren't particularly great. Um, getting the batteries in is a pain in the ass, but uh, I would suggest just plugging in the... Uh, uh, if you have the uh, the actual Genesis controllers, another thing that uh, compared to the NES Classic is that uh, the wireless controllers you had didn't uh, in your review, you showed the uh, just how short the yeah uh, the controllers that the NES Classic comes with are very short, which I had mentioned in that video, where these are wireless, so obviously that's good. However, the NES Classic they released uh, the extension cables, which are widely available now. So yeah, but uh, how much how much are they those things? Any idea? Um, I don't know the cost of them. Yeah, yeah, but that's something that you shouldn't have to worry about. No, it, it, should, it should come with it. Right, exactly. Yeah. Or it should be long to begin with. But yeah. Again, this comes down to the price that you're paying for this. Uh, if you were to pay $60, like the NES Classic, um, I would expect a little, you know, a, a, a better selection. Uh, you have all the Sonic games, including Sonic 3D Blast, uh, Sonic Spinball. Um, you have Mortal Kombat games. Oh, yeah, the Mortal Kombat games, that's big. Um, you know, the uh, Genesis Classics, Altered Beast, uh, Golden Axe, uh, three of them, uh, the three Golden Axe games, Columns. It's a good selection. The, the difference, though, between this, the newer one that came out this year, the only difference that I could find, they had a few Streets of Rage games on uh, the one in, from 2014, and they replaced that with Mortal Kombat on this. Personally, I'm more of a uh, Streets of Rage fan than I am Mortal Kombat, so that's a little disappointing. Uh, but other people might uh, disagree with me. I mean, my opinion on that is there, there's a few games on here that are, I don't know, like, I don't know, there's a couple of games on here which I'm not a huge fan of, so I would have swapped out some of these games for some of the Streets right. of Rage games. Uh, and, and another thing is, you know, there's some real classics on here, like, you know, Toe Jam and Earl, and uh, actually I actually have a couple here, like, you know, there's, you know, Castlevania Bloodlines and uh, some of the other ones, Strider, and other games that you would think should be on a collection where it says, you know, cl you know it's a cla cla another classic collection, and it doesn't include some of the big ones, so that's a little disappointing. Right, well, you know, first thing I'll say is that you can't, uh, you're never going to please everyone. There's going to be a game that I wish was on here that isn't. 
you know what I mean? There's just no way you could please everyone uh, by putting, you know, uh, all the classics on here. So I understand that. But given the price, uh, there is a good amount. I mean, all the Sonic games are great. Uh, again, Golden Axe. Uh, I think it's a good selection. Good enough, I think. Now, the thing I want to talk about most and uh, the greatest um, uh, aspect of this entire thing, and it's a big one, is that uh, it has a port for the uh, the cartridges. You can play cartridges on it, and uh, I think that's pretty amazing that I literally bought a Sega Genesis. I, I essentially bought a Sega Genesis for $30. They can play all the, uh, the the games. Yeah, I mean, I guess that is the thing, you know, with the games that are included on it, you can't really complain because you can put the actual cartridge right. into it. So right, you were just saying uh, Castlevania Bloodline. It's right. a shame it's not on there. Well, you have it sitting next to you, and you can True. play it. True. Yeah, so absolutely. That's, that's a much better, uh, you know, um, a pro than the uh, than the NES Classics. Is that totally? You know, you can play anything, and uh, that's big for me because. Uh, I know the big argument between Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. I had always leaned towards Sega Genesis because 90% um, of the games that I played on it were sports games. Um, Bill Walsh College Football, Triple Play 96, World Series Baseball, NHL 93, which I actually like more than 94. That's going to be a very controversial statement, but uh, I stand by it. It was it was a third of the Genesis library was was sports games. So if you're not yeah. into that, it's you know. And they were good. They but, were like the best of the line. But I will say that the games for Genesis, the non sports games, it had so many awesome yeah. games uh, for Genesis. Yeah. So Genesis was a great console regardless. And, and in defense, I'm a Genesis uh, defender. Uh, like the games like uh, Sunset Riders, it was better on Genesis than it was on Super Nintendo. I think Mortal Kombat with the blood. You got the blood. That's all you wanted as a kid, you know, in seventh, well, seventh grade, you know? You had the, the fatalities the, and the stuff. The Super Nintendo you know? had, the, had the blood. But well, not in the first one. Not, not in the first right. one. Right, yeah. So it was it was just almost like the it was like the cooler system at the time. And uh, uh, for, you know, younger gamers, uh, that might seem archaic to say, but Genesis, uh, in my mind, was like the cooler system, certainly they, at the time. They marketed it that way, too. Yeah, so yeah, I guess true. the marketing worked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, don't be fooled. Uh, these are great. Uh, there's a lot of great Genesis games that uh, are included on this, but don't be fooled by the uh, the arcade games that they uh, that they include. They're they're games that didn't exist in the arcade. They were um, seemingly made for this. Uh, yeah, that that, plug should, and play. that part of it is just like flat out bullshit. I will say at least the NES Classic didn't include a bunch of bullshit games. Where th this yeah. is like, hey, look, on top of it, we got all these arcade games, yeah. but they're. They're bullshit games. Yeah, with the arcade games, it includes such classics as Meatloaf Rotation. Everybody loves that, right? Yeah, there was a real quarter sucker back in the day. <laughs> and, uh, Dominant Amber. What is that? Fight or lose? This has to be checkers, right? <laughs> Fight or lose? They couldn't just call it checkers. Flash memory. It's a memory game. See, these are just like... I didn't Can see. we see what Dominant Amber is? I'm actually just curious. Like, what yeah. is that? Uh, they don't really give you an idea. Right, that's what I mean. This isn't really telling me anything. Right. What the hell? What am I looking at? It's like tic tac toe? Or with eggs? <laughs> is this, this is the how to play? You know. What? <laughs> do you get how to play now? I do not. Alright, play it. Let's see if we can do it. We can probably figure it out. Huh? <laughs> oh. I see. That's pretty cool. What are you doing? I'm guessing if they're more yellow or, or white. Oh, okay. So they're more yellow than white, so I'm going to hit down. I was right. Okay. More yellow than white. Okay. okay. More yellow. Oh, no. No, that's not what I'm doing. Oh, reverse. They're saying the up. Okay. Okay. Okay, the reverse. Okay, so what is the least? So white. That's confusing. Yeah. So yellow. Okay, now we have to guess. I would say white. Yeah, white. Okay. Uh, yellow? Nope. Uh, that was a close one. White. Okay. Oh, yellow. yellow. Alright. And they switched on the right. <laughs> this actually isn't a bad game. Yeah, I got, I got into this. Uh, wow, this is tough. I'm gonna go white. Nope. That oh, might have been a reverse. This is yellow. What is the... Alright. Bad. <laughs> bad. You're a bad egg. Bad egg. Wow. Well, All right. I kind of like that. All right. So we were shitting on the arcade games before, but like... You know what though? Like, 
you and I, we like those kind of games. Yeah. So a lot of people probably are not gonna so want to play this. Now you I know. know here. This is this is cool. Do you know what I'm saying though? Like yeah, we, exactly. we like this. The majority of people yeah, probably don't want to fucking that. play that. The final question uh, for me to you: Is it worth the price? Would you say? Um, you know, it it can't really compete with the NES Classic. You know, it's not HDMI. It doesn't. You know, it's it's not modern like that. But it does compete in that uh, you can put actual cartridges into it. It's a shame that the NES Classic uh, you can't do that. Well, yeah, I would say it definitely. Uh, it's definitely definitely worth the price, and it definitely competes with the uh, NES Classic because. Uh, of course, you could play the uh, cartridges, which is, uh, you know, the NES Classic, you're stuck with those games, mm -hmm. uh, and they're good. They're, it's a great selection, but that's what it is. That's the, the extent of what that system is going to be. This, you could play literally every Genesis game on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it has ports uh, for the original controllers, and it comes with wireless ones if you're into that, uh, as uh, buggy as they are. As a, yeah, uh, I, don't think they're, I don't think they're the best. Uh, no, they're not, but at least you have that uh, ability. Yeah. Um, I got it for thirty dollars. Uh, I think it's definitely worth the price, especially because uh, uh, the controller ports and uh, uh, the option to play the actual cartridges. So, if you find it for around that price, I'd say definitely pick it up.